Hello my friends! Hello everyone! And welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be teaching the wifey Kayla how to do all of the basic maintenance on the Veloster. Let's go! And real quick, it is time to start doing a snippet like this. Those of you who are new to the channel, please check out all of the playlists. We've got construction stuff. There's a whole playlist for this garage. My father and I built this from the ground up. There's a playlist for some Jeep stuff, and that'll keep growing as well. If you haven't already, please remember to subscribe. That way all my new content pops right up for you. Today is all about the Veloster. You know, you can't always drive the big, cool, ridiculous thing. This is our daily driver. It gets excellent mileage. It's very comfortable. Comfortable, but it does need regular maintenance. What does that include, Kayla? Oil changes, intake filter replacements, cabin filter replacements, and we need some new wipers. We're gonna replace the wipers. They've been New Mexico'd. <laughs> they have been New Mexico'd. Today we will be employing the newest toy in the garage. That is our new quick jack. First things first, Kayla's gonna be creeping. We're gonna get the oil started draining. And while that drains, it needs a few minutes. We'll get started on some filtration. Oh no, that one. Yep, right under the drain plug. She be creeping. Very first thing, we have a 17 millimeter for this car. We're gonna take that drain plug out. Go ahead and put that wrench on. Use your hand. Perfect. Awesome. Oh. I did it! <laughs> there you go. She's already going right for it. She knows exactly what the air box is. So the whole point of this here is that we have a funny story for you. Michaela went to Walmart. We run right up the street, get some easy filters, and she's asking one of the men that worked there in the auto department for a cabin air filter. We know this car has an intake filter. It has a cabin filter. He hands her this box, and she doesn't think much of it. She trusts the guy, as most consumers would. But as she's walking out of the store, she's looking at this thing. Huh, that looks like it goes under the hood. Engine protection for <laughs> right? your cabin. Right, <laughs> right, that's a hell of a cabin filter. It gives you engine protection. The guy literally didn't know the difference between a cabin air filter or an intake air filter. So Kayla's already underway here. She recognized that the air goes through this hose. This is the air box. Some clips came off. And yeah, you could just pull that up and get the filter out. I got it. <laughs> Very nice. You can see there's a ton of debris in there. And I guess a professional mechanic like my brother, they like to hold it up. And if you can see daylight through the filter, we barely can. There's pretty much nothing. It's definitely time to change this. Let's compare it to the new filter. Oh my gosh. I probably should have looked at how it was sitting in there before I took it out. That's why it's missing a corner. It only goes in one way. Now I look like an idiot. You don't look like an idiot. You've never done this before. Perfect. Yep, make sure all the rubber seals are on the outside. Make sure it seats. <laughs> and that's fine. You can take as much time as you need for this. None of this is a rush. You just changed your first air filter. There's lots of little friends in here. Real quick, while we're still under the hood, let's go ahead and remove the oil fill cap. <laughs> Noodles can't do it. <laughs> it's like opening a jar. You can do it. See it? <sighs> it's moving. Done. <laughs> She's making noises. <laughs> face is turning red. <laughs> and you want to keep it upright because it is full of oil. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Do I dump it? Just, yeah, dump it right downward in there. And just, just, just sit it on there. Yeah, there you go. Not used to seeing you in this light. You smell amazing. Oh my gosh, it is a beautiful day. Fall time here is absolutely amazing. It's when all the wind finally stops from the spring and summer, the temps drop, but you get that cool air, warm sun thing. It's beautiful, we got the door open. Do we need to grab a towel and wipe where the other filter was to clean it up? No, not particularly, but you do want to take fresh oil and lubricate that rubber piece. Oh, okay. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna screw that oil filter right back on. Do, I don't think I'm doing this right. Oh, wait. You got it, you'll feel it. Yep, there it perfectly is. Perfectly smooth, exactly. Make sure you don't cross thread, it'll spin freely. That is the oil drain plug, and we did put a fresh crush washer on there. A lot of people neglect to do that, and that helps make a seal so you don't leak oil. How much do I put? That is where you do a quick search, you look at your manual, or you use the interwebs. This guy takes about 3.8. 
So we always check out in the second. Yes. That way you've cleaned it. When you dip it a second time, you'll have a nice line. You'll know exactly where your level's at. I see that it's full. That is perfect. Watch your thumbs. There you go. Perfect. Yep, palms. I'm watching. You know, I almost forgot, before we lower this down, we're going to rotate the tires. That way we get even wear. Look at the size of that monstrous gun. <laughs> it weighs as much as you do. You got it. Perfect. Now drop, just drop it. Just drop it down. So it's a wheel. Roll it where it needs to go. Aww. You got it. Is your knee, yep. For those of you that don't know, Michaela is 95 pounds, five foot one and a half. She's an itty bitty human being. And that's part of the challenge of all of this is that if she can do it, anybody can do it. Right, we'll use a torque wrench for the rest. Have Hi, at it. Okay. Have fun. You won't have the shoulder strength to just crank that. You're gonna wanna put that horizontal so you can put your weight down on it to get that click. That's it. We went around multiple times. Kayla got all the lugs to 80 foot pound. The factory spec is 79. I'm happy with 80. Cabin air filter for this guy. I know ours is accessible from the glove box. That's the shroud. I can hear the leaves crinkling. Oh, they're falling out. Ew. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Oh, that's disgusting. So that is why AC stinks when you turn it on, when it looks like this. Look at that. That's so much better. Perfect. Very last thing, we're gonna service those windshield wipers. We always keep a little back stock. Got it. So this wiper's completely different. It has a whole mechanism that needs to come off first. This is the retaining clip. There you go. Try to go back on. And that allows those two arms to go around. Yep, that's it. There you go. This is a much more premium wiper blade than what was originally on here. This is all rubber coated and they sit much more gently against the windshield. They're really nice. And I think that's gonna about wrap it up for today. We taught Kayla how to do all of the most basic maintenance on the Veloster. Now let's just be clear for today. This is not all of the maintenance that you do on a car. This episode was more about the philosophy of teaching someone who's never learned how to do this stuff before, how to do your own maintenance, how to save some money. Because running to the dealership is expensive and those people will cheat you, especially with someone like Kayla. Several months ago, I was driving the car and I heard this really weird squeaking noise coming from the brakes. I decided to take the car to the dealership myself. After four hours of sitting in the lobby, the guy comes out and he says, your brakes are pretty much done. You have about 50 to 100 miles before your brakes are gonna give out, which mm. terrified me. And that's exactly what they do. It's ridiculous. First of all, your brakes don't give out. If you had no pads left and just the mounts were digging into the rotors, you can still stop the car. It's a fear tactic and they terrorize people like Kayla that have never done this into spending $250. So I guess that's just the bottom line here is that even Michaela, someone who's a prime target for that stuff, can learn to just put some gloves on and take care of this stuff herself. So thanks for hanging out with us. I hope you learned something. I hope it was entertaining and I hope to see you back here on the next one. Bye. Hustle! I'm scared! Come on, put your back into it! Oh god, I need a second creeper! I didn't expect I'd be doing this so soon! Alright. Yeah. <laughs> and <hilarious>. action! <laughs> Do we need a wipe? Words? No. <laughs> she give me. This is just got it. so tiny. That's why are we doing this? Because this is oh the thumbnail. God. It's our thumbnail. Wait, hold on, we have to turn around. Oh, now Andrew's ugly face yeah, is in it. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. And I think that's good. <laughs> I think that's gonna be.